I've been looking for the perfect high quality scale for things like mixing Cerakote and mixing epoxy for bedding jobs. It's in this box. It's from Cambridge Environmental. I'm gonna show it to you in this video. Having you here from ultimatereloader.com, I've got quite a few super high quality scales from Cambridge Environmental, including the AND FX120i, which is actually a precision laboratory balance, 0.02 grain resolution, super fast response, works with automated powder dispensers, great scale. I've got the EJ54D2, which is one of my most sensitive scales. In fact, it is my most sensitive scale, three thousandths of a grain. One grain is one seven thousandth of a pound. That is absolutely insane. But I've had the need for a medium capacity scale. All those precision scales and balances have limited capacity, which is fine when you're dispensing smokeless powder onto the pan. But when you're doing things like mixing Cerakote in this graduated cylinder, which weighs a lot by itself, or mixing epoxy, You've got the actual epoxy and you've got the catalyst and it has to be handled precisely, but you're gonna to need to have some sort of cup or bowl and you need a medium level of capacity. This is the answer right here. This is the EJ3000. This has a 3000 gram capacity and a 0.1 gram resolution. So in this video, I'm gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna calibrate it and we're gonna mix some Cerakote as a quick demo. Let's do this. Well, there we go. So I actually called this a scale and it looks like this is a compact balance. Awesome. So we've got the EJ3000 itself. And then we've got the, the pan. It's gonna fit like that. Uh, a little bit of printed documentation. We've got the owner's manual and the power supply. So I'm gonna get this labeled. I'm gonna get it leveled and powered up and we're gonna look at calibration. So I got the scale set up and calibrated, really easy process. Basically we put the pan on the scale load cell. I've got the power supply labeled, plug that in, turn the scale on, made it sure it was completely leveled. You're gonna to wanna to allow it to warm up for about a half an hour and then go through the calibration procedure. Calibration procedure is spelled out in detail in the owner's manual. It's pretty simple. You select what weight you're using. I'm probably using a weight that's a little on the light side. This is a 50 gram weight. I think the default was two or 3,000 grams or something like that. So I might get a heavier calibration weight, but this should work nonetheless. Uh, after selecting the calibration weight, it does a zero calibration with nothing on the scale then it'll do with whatever weight that you've selected, and then it shows end. So what I like about this balance is it's really fast. If you look at that stable indicator, it uh, is really quick to respond, and when we're adding catalyst, that final step, we're gonna wanna see some real responsiveness on the scale so that we can know when to stop pouring in and to, to get up to value. So it looks like this scale is gonna work perfectly. It's got a 3,100 gram capacity actually, which is gonna do anything we need to do here for Cerakote and epoxy mixing. And I think it's time for a demo. Let's mix up some Cerakote. So for Cerakote, I'm gonna do two colors. I'm putting together a test panel like this one for not only looking at the color, but for some laser engraving settings exploration. And so I've sandblasted well, a tray just like this is a stainless steel tray to use as a test board. I'm gonna put one color on one side and one on the other side. So this is H139 steel gray. As you can see here, the graduated cylinder alone weighs about 215 grams. So I'm gonna zero that out. We've got the mix calculator from Cerakote on my phone there. And I'm just gonna pour in a little here until I feel like I have enough for this test here. That's plenty right there. So 66.3. And I can now take that and put that into the calculator and it's gonna calculate how much catalyst we need, which is 2.81. So instead of doing math, 
we're going to zero here and then we'll put about 2.8 to 3 in something like that. Ooh, I, I really like the sensitivity and speed of that scale. That is pretty awesome. Okay, we're going to take a glove, do our mixing and put it in the gun. We ready to paint. Well, the EJ3000 did a great job. I mixed two different colors of Cerakote, worked great with the graduated cylinder that I used to measure Cerakote. That in the mixing app, when I was adding Catalyst, I noticed the scale was very quick to update and stabilize and very sensitive to even the most minute amount, like a drop going in. Really, really good stuff. And I think it'll also be perfect for mixing epoxy for bedding jobs Weighing small firearms parts like titanium muzzle brakes when I need just this level of resolution and capacity, this is great. And if you're interested in seeing those types of features, make sure you're subscribed with notifications because we got a lot more Cerakote, a lot more gunsmithing jobs and the like. And if you're looking for a scale for measuring powder, for measuring Cerakote and epoxy or larger scales for things like weighing firearms, Cambridge Environmental has got you covered. Click on that first link in the video description. It'll take you to more description, more information, and product links. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.